Okay, welcome to video number 52. This is all going to be about the mantle, and we're still in earth layers. So the summary, I would like you to describe, diagram, or tell me the differences between the three parts of the mantle, the mesosphere, the asthenosphere, and the lithosphere. Here is all the ten layers that I'm going to show you guys. So we just finished the two for the crust, and now here is the mantle, and I'm going to go through all three of those. So let's talk about the mantle in general. It's located beneath the crust. It's got a very uh, thick layer of very hot rock. It's composed of those silicates, again, which just means silicon and oxygen. The temperature and pressure increases. It's denser than the crust, and it's also made of magnesium and iron. Now, the first mantle layer is called the lithosphere. Uh, it's hard, rigid rock. It is the outermost part. Um, it can include part of the crust and the upper mantle, and some parts are brittle and actually are what cause you to have earthquakes. So the second uh, mantle layer I'm going to talk to you about is called the asthenosphere. Uh, it is softer, weaker rock. It flows like taffy. I always say it flows like taffy, and that's what I'm showing you here in the pictures. Um, or bends like plastic. I guess you can use whatever analogy works for you. And again, as you keep going further in, you're going to get higher temperature and pressure. So the mesosphere, I want you to think of it as like, Uh, 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 super strong. So it is the strongest. It is the lowest mantle layer. It is completely solid, so that's how it's very different than the asthenosphere. It is highly compressed, and it has very high temp and pressure, and that's what I'm showing you here with the um, sponge being squeezed, that it's highly compressed. This full beach is evidence of something violent and powerful, a piece of mantle rock that broke away and was forced upward 30 miles by the churning movements of the crust. For geologists like Robin Shale, it's the perfect place to study mantle rocks, which are normally way beyond his reach. How do they compare with other rocks on the surface? What do they tell us about what's inside planet? The rocks here look completely different. They have colors which vary from greens through to oranges and yellows. This is typical of mantle rocks wherever they're exposed at the Earth's surface. Like no other rocks we know, mantle rock is very hard and very heavy, nearly twice the weight of granite. Here on the Earth's surface, this rock seems solid enough. Deep underground, however, it becomes very different, something that behaves more like fudge. When we look at this mantle peridotite, it appears solid. In contrast, when mantle rocks or fudge are warmer, you can actually stretch and make it flow. And the significance for this is that these weak layers within the mantle allow the overlying plates to move slowly across. Okay, summary time. Uh, please again describe, diagram, and tell me the differences between the three layers of the mantle, the mesosphere, the asthenosphere, and the lithosphere. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.